Hey everybody, it's Pinta here with another thrift haul. Um, this is kind of a hodgepodge. Um, I'm not even sure when I got these things, but they were between the Salvation Army and So yes guys, I made a couple th trips to the Goodwill and Salvation Army. In September, they're having 50% off every Friday as they did in August. So I decided to check out the September one and I didn't go to the first one, but the second one I did go to, which happened this last Friday. Um, but before I do that, I will show you some things I got at the Salvation Army. Um, I only had gotten three things on this occasion because I was using my coupon, which you guys, you buy $25, you get $10 off. So these three things came up to about $18 with the coupon. So I got this bathrobe it is a hundred percent cotton it seems to be vintage I was a little bit iffy about getting it because the condition was kind of I don't know like the neck had like a ring around it it was pretty gross and I really had promised someone to do a video on how I clean my thrifted uh, merchandise and I'm gonna do that because I pretty much brought it back to life it wasn't like worn out it just seems as if it was kind of put aside and not washed um, and not made like it wasn't worn a lot but it just was a little bit yellowed put away clean so yeah so it's beautiful I absolutely love it it has a gathering at the back there it's yeah so like this is it guys. I love the floral of it and I love the fact that it's a hundred percent cotton because you hardly can get anything in like a cotton um, the band is tied on which is nice and it really fits nicely here so um, it did have shoulder pads in it and that pretty much dated it immediately but um, I actually plucked them out after washing and um, I didn't realize until I was put in a way when I washed it that it had shoulder pads so I took it off so here it is on. I really love the cinching at the back. And you know, robes tend to look a little bit boxy. So the cinching really gives it a nice look on. And look at this, it's beautiful. It's like a cream background and then it has the red and the green. The next thing I got there. was really a great find. I love this coat um it is from eddie bauer it's navy blue <laughs> my favorite dark color y'all know that already it has a hood that's removable and this is what i love about it this plaid it's awesome okay just awesomeness um i got it in the ladies department in the coats whether it's men or women i don't care um it's just gorgeous on it is half the panel is the pad is half lined on the inside, but it's really a great in between weather coat. You could wear this on a, a lighter winter day also, but I just love it. And the quality is excellent in Eddie Bar. It is in great condition. It was priced at $14.99, but I said collectively the three things that I'm going to show you, they came up to like $18 with my coupon. So I can't wait to wash this and actually wear this. I just absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. The last thing I got to make up my numbers was this workout top. It's by Fila. I love the color. It is a bright pink with some neon green and black. Really cute. Um, it actually has some hidden bit, uh, zippers here. So I guess if you're a runner, you can put your stuff in or if you're going to the gym. Really cute. This was like $6.99. I don't know why. And that day they were giving active wear for 50% off. So I didn't get it why this was in the blouse section. Anyway, because I needed to use up my coupon, I just slapped this on there and it was, I love it. I really love it. So on that day, I also had stopped at the Salvation Army. My other cousin has been here with me for a couple months and so she frequents, I mean, she's on to this thrifting thing like I am. So every so often, you know, I try to take her there as much as possible. And this day I went to the Goodwill. I really had no intentions of getting anything, but I did pick up something. Um, one of the things I got was this gorgeous little uh, bracelet. It's 
it is like an Egyptian motif on there. It has like pyramids, it has like a Fertiti, it has like a lion, like like palm trees and oasis. There were two of them and it has like a Pharaoh's head right here. Sorry, this thing is not zooming in, but get the idea. But it's really nice. It has like the pyramid with the evil eye on it too. Absolutely love it. There were two of them. Um, one has like children on it and I prefer to get this one. But I did go back last Friday and saw the other one that matches it and I just grabbed it because I mean, this is really great quality. It really is very sturdy. It has a strong chain in between and I just love it. It's just absolutely right up my alley and I'm definitely enjoying it. On that day, I this was the only other thing because I just took my cousin shopping. I got this brand new pair of Club Monaco pants for $6 and it is brand new. It's like a tuxedo pant. It had the tags on it, um, the original tags, which I took off when I was trying it on at home. It does have buttons here, which would suggest that there were suspenders. You can put suspenders on there, but it is gorgeous. I mean, this is a great pant for work for me. And around Christmas time, it is a great little piece to put on when, you know, within that festive season so I absolutely love it and I can't believe it was so $6. as I said I went to the Goodwill on Friday last and I picked up some things uh, first place I went oops first thing I went to look at was the jewelry because I wanted to see what was left over and I got this set of bangles they are very very nice I absolutely love them seemed like they were brand new too because it still has the tag on them they were $6 for the set, so I got them for $3. I love them. They really have like an African look to them, and that is why I absolutely love them. And then, as I said, I picked up the second uh, bracelet to this one, and it's cute. It's really cute. It just has some kids on there with hearts going around. So yeah, so this was eight dollars and I so at the Goodwill I got this beautiful dress by Tommy Bahama in navy blue. It fits so nice on. It has like a V at the front and a V at the back. It's just a basic sheath dress, but I really love the fact that it has that V in V front and V back. It really fits very, very nicely and I love it. The texture of the fabric is almost like a PK'd cotton type thing but very fine and this was $12 and I got it for six. Hmm. The good thing about it uh, is that it is silk and cotton so really it's really nice. The texture is so soft yet sturdy with the cotton so I mean I just like grabbed it because that was I picked such up a this blouse price. and I just thought it was just beautiful everyone knows I love paisley and this is going to be great for the fall with the purples I have some purple slacks that I thrifted this would look great it's from Joe's New York it's absolutely stunning in my mind and I got it for four dollars from eight dollars I got this gorgeous long sleeve cream shirt from the Gap just a long sleeve cotton top and I just love it. The back, the back has some venting there and I just like it as an oversized look. It's an extra large so that's fine by me. I'm going to wear it anyway. And it was $3. Got this cardigan. Really cute. I love the weight of the fabric. You cannot have enough black cardigans and whenever I see one I like I pick it up. It was $6. It's from Dynamite which is a store here and um, I just absolutely love it. It's really soft and nice and just feels like and another gem level. that I got was this base blazer from H&M and it was six dollars. I got it for half off so I got it for three dollars. It has no buttons. It just drapes and it almost is like a tuxedo look to it but it's not. I love it. It's a size 12 but you know with H&M's fit fitted me pretty well and I do know that I'm going to get good wear out of it. It still had the tags on them from H&M and I cannot believe that 
I got it for three dollars because typically they really over price H&M at the I Goodwill. seem to have gotten a lot of navy things this time around and I did get this nice button down shirt by Joe Fresh although they cut out the tags I knew it was Joe Fresh it's a nice button up navy blue shirt beautiful it has buttons and it has kind of the cuffs here and it was two dollars and fifty cents after the discount another top that i got was this gorgeous top by the gap it's just a striped shirt i saw it behind the counter and I asked the girl if it was on hold for someone but they don't hold anything for people so i grabbed it it is like an orange and white stripe it has like a little opening at the front and i like a cap sleeve sort of and it was four dollars again this as i said lots of navy i got this navy blue just a mesh stretch top by the brand kirsch and kirsch is a really like a mid to mid end brand um they sell it in the bay and i just love this cap sleeve top it's just gorgeous i think it's just very different it's very soft and something that i can wear to work um it was three dollars with the discount one of the last things i picked up on that occasion was this it is just a corduroy mini skirt five pocket kind of denim looking skirt um five pocket uh skirt from tommy hilfiger brand new absolutely gorgeous it was a great fit and it just fits me right above the knee very cute it was a bit overpriced but it's brand new so i didn't mind at 15 dollars. so i got it last but not least after going to the goodwill on friday for the 50 off i stopped at the salvation army to do some donations so i could get more coupons that's what i do i donate get coupons shop okay so the one thing i got was this beautiful dress I mean it's absolutely gorgeous I love the brand which is Esprit it is brand new but isn't this gorgeous this is perfect for the fall and it's just a simple sheath dress and just done in a classic way that I mean this is just totally me and the fact that Esprit isn't even carried here anymore I just had to scoop it up um, the tag says it would be $99, the original tags, but I got it for $10. I didn't use, I didn't find anything to make it up to buy stuff on the coupon, so I didn't bother. Um, so I just paid 10 bucks for it. I was so happy to get it. As you guys might know, I am a reader and I picked up a couple books on another occasion when I went to the Salvation Army. And the two books I got I just got two books and books are 99 cents each paperback I got this book by one of my favorite authors Chinua Chebe and he's a Nigerian classic Nigerian author he is a legend to me right um, and this one is the Ant Hills of the Savannah cannot wait I started re reading it but I just I'm trying to like not devour it as I would so I was happy to find this book for 99 cents another one I saw and picked up was Secret Daughter and this is based out of India I believe so I can't wait to read this one this was at indigo i think as one of heather's picks heather is the ceo there so she usually picks out books that she recommends and i can't wait to read this either so yes guys that is it for my thrift haul i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i can bring you some more there's another thing that i thrifted which was i needed a tv stand for a room in my house and i wanted I didn't want to spend too much and I wanted something that would have like some kind of um, storage underneath so I picked I went to I just stopped by Valley Village yesterday on the way home and I got one just something I don't know if it was a TV stand but I definitely I'm going to use it as such I'll put the pictures here and I did a little DIY on it which it's coming along and I will show you 
probably the color that I sprayed it in a beautiful blue so it is gorgeous and I can't wait to put my TV on there and um, I'll just show you the picture of it the color that I was going to use and it's being dried now so I'm going to take a picture of that so you can see it but at some point I'll probably show you the finished product with the um, hardware put back on it so yeah guys so that was 10 bucks and I can't believe it it's not solid wood but I was able to sand it down and the color is just stunning anyway guys thank you so much for watching enjoy and again let me know what your favorite picks are from Splinter's thrift haul take care guys and let me know what you have been finding lately on your thrifting expeditions okay have a great day and take care bye